Hello and welcome to Global. I'm Karen Ginoni, broadcasting live from the BBC's newsroom here in the heart of London. Another symbol of Kiev's authority under attack from pro-Russian militants this time, it's the prosecutor's office in the city of Donetsk. It's a chilly start to the 1st of May, which usually celebrates the beginning of spring. In fact, the only thing feeling the heat is Ukraine's relationship with Russia. With Moscow's military attaché to Kiev detained on suspicion of spying, how close to boiling point is the crisis getting? Practically, we're already at war after what happened in Crimea. Crimea was annexed by Russia. That's an open declaration of war. I'll be speaking to Voice of Russia's Dmitry Linick and Domitila Sagramozo from King's College London about the diplomatic wrangling over Ukraine's future. As the rest of the world marks May Day, rallies in Istanbul have decide, descended into violent clashes. Jerry Adams, a prominent figure in Irish politics, is arrested and questioned over one of the most notorious murders of Northern Ireland troubles. Also on Global, getting your seven a day just got that little bit harder. Indian mangoes are banned from the EU after some consignments were found infested with fruit flies. Hello, welcome to Global. I'm Karen Giannone. Both sides say it's not another Cold War, but it's impossible to ignore the chill between Russia and the West over what's going on in Ukraine. The Russian military attaché to Kiev has been detained on suspicion of spying. No word yet from Moscow, but it comes as the Chancellor, the German Chancellor Angela Merkel has asked President Putin for help to secure the release of detained military observers. With the diplomatic toing and froing, the situation on the ground seems as unpredictable as ever. In a minute, we'll get the picture from Donetsk in the east. But first, this report from Nick Chan.